We were talking about sigma notation. Have you guys heard the word sigma before? Yes. <laughs> Where have you heard that word? I'm not familiar with that word. Which one not? Like Leo's a sigma male? <laughs> Would that work, Mr. Jordan? I think that's alpha or beta. That's what you're thinking of. Uh, no, I'm, the, I'm, the, the, I'm the leader. leader. I'm the one to trust. He's just a sigma. I'll trust you to lead me off the cliff, and that's about how this fires. Okay. Well, the only thing that those all have in common is their Greek letters. I'm not great at drilling it because I don't do it very often. Um, sigma, the Greek letter, like you might have heard it in like a fraternity or sorority. Sigma. Uh, but they used it for some notation. I think it's a K or N down there. They use K. Um, let's make something up here. Okay. Sigma is used for sums. And what you're adding is this thing to itself, but you're replacing the K values. This is where the K starts at. So one is like going to be the first one. And this is where it ends at. So we're plugging in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for k. And then we're supposed to add. Sigma notation is always for adding those terms together. So if I plugged in 1, it would be 2 times 1 is 2. If I plugged in 2, 2 times 2 is 4. Plugged in 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is, I think they call this the expanded notation or what did they, what words did they use? Expanded for? This is, this just means do this. Okay, so it's just 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. So it's just a different way of writing it. Um, anyways, yeah, they, they like to use this notation. Um, so on number 1, it says sigma for k equals 2 is 6. Why am I not good at writing this? There we go. So the k values are going to go from 2 to 6. And what we're adding is just k. So we're supposed to write this in expanded notation. So what would this be in expanded form? They're not asking us to figure it out right now, so we don't have to do that. But yes. There was a little formula. I mean, that would be easy to add normally. There was a little formula that we learned to add sums together. Because uh, for arithmetic series or... Isn't that the... the NPR? It was like... Uh, n times uh, n minus 1 over 2, n plus 1 over 2, n times n plus 1 over 2, something like that. No, no, no not that. That's for something else. Okay. Uh, so number 3, we're going from 1 to 5, and it's 1 over k. Okay, we're going from 1 to 5. 1 over k. So if I plug a 1 in there, 1 over 1 is 1. If I plug a 2 in there, 1 over 2. If I plug a 3, a 4, and a 5. like our test will be on Friday. Mm. So on five, we're starting at zero. Is this going to be the last test? Heck no, of course not. My word. How close do you think we are to the end of school? Six more weeks. I think we're going to do nothing for six weeks. Yes. All right. You're incorrect. Oh, they changed it to N on this one. It doesn't really matter, but... Okay, so this time it says 3 to the 1 minus n. Alright, now this one says go to infinity. 
And of course we can't write infinite terms, so they just wrote like four or five of them, and then put dot, dot, dot. So but our first one is we're plugging in zero. So one minus zero is one. Three to the one is three. If I plug in one, one minus one is zero. Three to the zero is one. Anything to the zero is one. If I plug in two, one minus two is negative one. What's three to the negative one? One third. One third. Yeah, and if I plug in a three, it'd be three to the negative two, which is like three squared upside down, so it's one nine. You guys see the pattern? Dividing by three. Because the exponent keeps going down one, so if you do like three to the negative one, it's like dividing by three. Or times one third, I guess you could say. Okay. So since it goes forever, they just put dot, 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 and they stopped. So we'll just say put like five of them. Okay, seven is going from negative two to two. So put a T, yeah, T. Four T. No, four T to the T. All right, so if I plug in a negative two, obviously we're using integers here. We're using one, two, three, or in this case, negative two, negative one, negative three, or zero, or whatever. So four to the negative two, you guys know what that is? I'm always really disappointed when we do negative exponents. One sixteen. One sixteen, thank you, yay. Two people know. I'm assuming everybody else did, you just don't yeah. need to speak. Yeah. Okay, if I plug in negative one. One fourth. There we go. Make me feel better, thank you. If I plug in zero. Yeah, anything to the zero is one. If I plug in one, four to the one. And if I plug in two. We have to go to t equals 2. Oh. We're going from negative 2 to 2. Got it. All right. Um, number 9, write it in sigma notation. So I'm going to use n equals 1. It's kind of depends on how you write it, but usually it's less complicated if you just start with 1. And how many terms do we have on number nine? One, two, three, four, five. So I'm gonna go from n is one to five. Now, how do we get four, eight, 12, 16? How do we get those numbers to pop out? Four times four. Four, what? N. Four n. Okay, they're multiples of four. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Make a better decision. I didn't even. I We'll work on your Sam's just like. You think, as a swimming guy, you would know how to, you know, move? Air is different. Air is different. Walk the park, obviously. We'll work on your walking technique. All right. Like flying, swimming, it's all the same thing. You and then you. You stop letting your ego formation. Okay, yeah, the, all those numbers are multiples of four, so it's like four times one, four times two, four times. So our thing over here is four times n, where n is one, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> like a sick duck. <laughs> Okay, number 11 looks a lot like number 4. Do you guys see what the difference is? Um, is it 4 and plus 1? Yeah, they're all one, one bigger, so we can kind of repeat. Uh, but one of the differences is this doesn't just go to 20, it goes to 101. Which is a lot. 
Yeah, so it's kind of like multiples of four, but they're one bigger. So how many times does four go into a hundred? Twenty-five. Four. I was about to say sixteen. Okay, they're almost all multiples of four, except for they're one bigger. But uh, they're all multiples of four plus one. So how many times would you have to multiply four to get to a hundred? Is twenty-five times. So anyway, the n needs to go from one to twenty-five, and instead of just four n, it's going to be one bigger. <laughs> It's just, <laughs> it's remember just really about one day it lasted like 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and then it mixed like with the air freshener. Where was everyone? Because I feel like it's just I think it was. It was just me and Brian. So we could watch it further. Oh yeah, it was just, was Ava was the only. Where was I? You two were in on at least, I remember that. There was a. What? You guys weren't here. Where was you? Yeah. This was like two months ago. I don't know how long ago it was. It was like, this was like six months ago. Maybe. I thought like, 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 All right. Do you guys know the pattern on 13? This one's a little tricky. So the denominator is 4, 9, 16. Do those numbers ring a bell? Yeah. You say yeah, but then you don't say anything. 4, 9, 16, does that seem, sound familiar? Well, you could say the first one is 1. 1, 4, 9, 16? Nobody? Bells are not ringing that one. Oh, number squared. Square numbers, yeah. 1 squared, mm -hmm. 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. Okay, but they're all in the denominator, so when we go to write it, it's going to be 1 over n squared. Okay, so we're going from, how many up do we have? Infinite? Okay, so on the top we're just going to put infinity. Okay, how did I know it was infinite? Because I put dot, dot, dot. Does that mean, is the word for that ellipses? I just said dot. I, I would Google it later, maybe. Ellipses, the dot, dot, dot thing. Usually used in language. I guess math is kind of a language. All right. 15, don't panic because there's a sign. It's This one's kind of easy, actually. Okay, so... Um, what is happening on number 15? Adding a sign. Well, the number in front of the x is just going up by 1. So, you're just going to put an n in front of the x. Um, just going sine of x, sine of 1x, sine of 2x. Or actually, sine of x is sine of 1x. So it's going sine of x, sine of 2x, sine of 3x, sine of 4x. How far is it going? It's going forever. So, gosh. So, to infinity and beyond. How old is that movie now? Was the first one in the 90s? You guys weren't born yet? When, what, what year were you guys born? Like 2006 or 7? Six or 7. It's Gosh. Gosh. All right. 17. Okay, so they're kind of, this is one of those where they tell us the answer and we got to show a little work. 
Detroit Valley. Can't just write the answer. Boo. 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 Um, Boo. So they tell us the answer, but let's see if we can just figure out what it is. If I plug in one, we might need to. Uh, I'm putting the one in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be kind of like this. It's like a little ten. There we go. Yeah, it's there is no base. That means the base is ten. You guys remember the rules of logs? Of course you do, right? So you the one on the log of T. Oh yeah, I wrote this part wrong. It's supposed to be a big T, big T there. Um. Well, if you're adding the logs together like with the same base, you can just multiply these numbers. Remember that? So you just do 1 times 2 times 3 times 4. So that would equal common log of 24 is what we're supposed to get. I don't know if you could can you show me more work than that. A little bit. That's okay. One to a hundred. Goodness. Okay, this time they don't tell us the answer. We just got to figure it out. Uh, we, will, we will not be writing hundred terms. There's a pattern on this one that we're going to find and figure it out. Okay, cosine k pi. All right, if I plug in one, here, I'll just write like five of them. Well, the last one would, but yeah, you're supposed to add them all together. So what is the cosine pi? If you weren't sure, you'd have to plug it in calculate. Uh, pi is like 180 and cosine is like negative 1 over there. Cosine of 2 pi, positive. I guess I didn't need this many. Cosine of 3 pi, 4 pi, 5 pi, dot, dot, dot. And then there's 100 of these. So if I added 100 of these, what would they add up to? Zero. Yeah. So, since 100 is an even number, that means, like, this 2 and this 2, and this, that's going to happen like 50 times, right? 100 divided by, if it was like 101, the answer would be like negative 1. Does that make sense? Uh, but because 100 is an even number, it's like, um, this will happen 50 times. So the negative one and one will cancel out and just equal to zero. So 20, um, they're counting by pi over two. So you're gonna have to, you're gonna need five terms before there's, there's really a four term pattern, but go to the fifth term just to show that it starts repeating itself. Um, you guys can think about it, see if you figure it out. It's a little bit harder than 19. Okay. 